Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. And welcome to the channel main episode on the beloved game Ragnarok X Next Generation. And so the updates that players are waiting for is finally here. The Taiwan server had just recently updated with the new Trial Illusion instance. I had talked about this when the Juno map is first introduced in Taiwan server. This instance is one of the updates that is planned to be included in the Juno patch. I had also slipped in some images in my few previous videos hinting on that update if you watch the video until the end you will notice it and only if you notice about it and yes that is the thanatos tower instance thanatos tower is the second trial illusion instance after the baphomet instance so that means it is a 15 player party instance so in this video i am going to show you what is the thanatos tower instance looks like and what you should do to clear the thanatos tower instance all right before that i think it is easier for you to understand the thanatos tower instance mechanic if you know what exactly is the thanatos tower what is the story behind it knowing the background of this instance will be easier for you to understand what you should be doing in the instance all right thanatos tower is originally called gargantuan tower about 600 years ago according to the ragnarok series story the demon king morok emerged to midgar in this tower Thanatos fought Morok with the help of Lucille and Loki. When Morok magic collides with Thanatos shield, time and space was distorted, and they were transported to far south of Prontera. There they fought for 10 days and 10 nights. At the final day, Thanatos defeated Morok, but he only successfully defeated Morok's body manifestation in Midgard. He does not have any more strength to destroy Morok's spirit. On a split decision, Thanatos then decided to seal Morok's spirit underneath Midgard with all he has. Morok was sealed. A shrine is built on top of the battlefield to commemorate the historic event and soon flourish into a city which given the name Morok. So Midgardians will always remember that a great demon is imprisoned within it. As for Thanatos, he was never be seen again after the fight is over. 600 years later, Gargantuan Tower is discovered and inside it, Thanatos' spirit was found guarding the tower and the tower is then named Thanatos Tower. And here where we start the Thanatos Tower instance. Just like the Performer Trial Illusion instance, there are three stages in this instance. The first stage, there are four monsters, which is named Dolor, Odium, Merum, and Despero. These are the four emotions of Thanatos that were split from him to guard the tower. Each one is represented as pain, hate, sorrow, and despair respectively. The name doesn't mean anything in this particular instance. Just an extra information for this video. What you need to do is to kill them all. They cannot be killed inside the room with Thanatos. So how to kill it? Thanatos image is present in the room, but he will not attack. First, players need to split all four of them separately. Bring two monsters to the two golden circles separately, place on the top and bottom of the map. Another two monsters should be pulled separately at the left and right side of the map. After the two monsters are inside the golden circle, the door on the left and on the right will be open. Players need to bring out the two monsters outside of the room. Once they are separated from Thanatos, they now can be killed normally. Each of the monsters will drop a colored item once it is killed. Players need to collect the item and send it to the little portal in the room according to the item color. After at least two monsters is killed, the door will be permanently open and now you can kite the other two monsters outside of the room and kill them separately. Get a drop item and send it to the portal according to the color and your team will clear the first stage. There are a couple things to take note during this stage. First, you can kill the monster one by one if your team do not have the capability to split into two small teams to take on two monsters at the same time. Two, the monster cannot be near to each other because then they will heal themselves. So you cannot bring out two monsters together at the same door. They cannot be killed that way. You need to pull them away from each other to kill them. Next to the second stage, similar to the first stage, you need to kill the four monsters, get a drop item and place it at 
at the portal. The difference is, this time the monsters are not inside the room with Thanatos. They can be found outside of the room separate from Thanatos. At this time, the Thanatos image begins to attack the players. Thanatos cannot be killed normally. Before you can kill Thanatos image, first, your team needs to send out players to find the four monsters outside the room. Kill it, get a drop item and return to the room and place the item at the portal. After all items are sent to the portal, then Thanatos image can be killed. After all of Thanatos emotions are lifted up and liberated, Thanatos then emerge as the final boss. The area outside of the room is filled with poisonous gas, so players need to quickly find the monsters and kill them. If the poison debuff stacks higher, you will be dead. So it is suggested that players with high mobility to be sent out to find and kill the monsters. After all items are sent to the portal, then Thanatos image can be killed. And finally, the third stage, the final stage. From the feedback that I see from the Taiwan players, they say that Thanatos is actually not hard to kill. Maybe because at this stage of the game, players are already having good equipment and well built. So everyone will have enough power to kill Thanatos in just minutes. If done correctly, Thanatos tower instance from the beginning to the end, it can be completed in about 10 minutes. Alright, what do you think of the Thanatos Tower instance? Here is a little more info regarding Thanatos Tower. It is speculated that in the story, Thanatos had given his spirit to seal away Morog, and now his spirits are guarding the Gargantuan Tower, so demons do not come out from the tower anymore, killing everyone who venture in the tower unknowingly. Unbeknown to me guardians and adventurers, killing Thanatos in Thanatos Tower will break the seal that imprisoned Morok and soon Morok will be resurrected again. I found that interesting. Well, it is actually my speculation for the Ragnarok series lore. I just had to share it with you guys. I always find myself immersed in the game's storyline. It is very interesting. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shoutout goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.